Hi guys, I have a special guest here for today's video. This is Dodger, my dog Dodger. He is, he is very sweet, but very, he's very much a Brutus, like very, um, it's like a himbo in a dog. So if he's like bouncing up and down, <clears throat> that is why. But I really wanted to come on here and make a, what I've been wearing fragrance video because I've actually been wearing a ton of fragrances and a ton of fragrances consistently. You guys know sometimes like, I don't know, I feel like sometimes I wear something new every day and then other times I definitely do have a rhythm and mood. And this is what the rhythm and mood has been lately. This is mostly everything I would say I've been reaching for. There's been some outliers, but this has kind of been the rotation um, for the last two weeks, maybe. And so now that, now that I can feel myself shifting into a different gear, potentially, like today I'm wearing a fragrance that's not in the video. I'm like, well, let's talk about what we've actually been wearing. So, um, where should we start? You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the stuff I was wearing just in general. And then I'll start on the stuff that I brought for a trip that I just recently went on because now these like, now these scents definitely have like scent memories attached to them, if that makes sense. So, um, yeah, let's talk about it. Something I've been doing a lot, a lot guys, is just layering this with pretty much everything after this. So like sometimes I'll layer it with the actual like fragrance, just like in the morning when I wake up, but pretty much been using this, um, as my body lotion after the shower. This is the, or I guess it's a cream, but this is the Vanilla Bean Noel um, body cream. Just a simple sugary vanilla. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely a fave of mine. And the thing is, is I'm like, can you guys see, like I've already squeezed my bottle. Like I'm almost done with this. There's probably like maybe a fourth left. Yeah, probably about a fourth left in here, maybe if that. So um, <clears throat> I will need to get another vanilla layering lotion soon because I will be out of one. I've also tried, oh, I should make an empties video for you guys soon. Maybe that's what I'll do next actually. Um, but I've also tried, this reminds me a lot of the EOS vanilla cashmere lotion. So they're not the same, but they're kind of similar. I don't know. Um, so that's a good one. But what I really want to try is, um, Victoria's Secret Bare Vanilla for layering. So we'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. <clears throat> I have another lotion too. It's not like I have to have a vanilla lotion. Like I have lotions is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't necessarily need to go out and buy one right now, but I've also been, you can see this guys, this already has like a little tiny, 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 yes, but a little dent in it. This is the accompanying body mist of Vanilla Bean Noel from Bath and Body Works. Sometimes I'll just like, if I want something sweet, like a little pick me up, you know, just spray this on. And especially like sometimes before bed, you know, sometimes you have that before bed conundrum where you don't really know what exactly you want. Usually what I want is something a little sweet and kind of uncomplicated. Every now and then I'll <clears throat> wear something kind of complex. Yeah, yeah, I'll wear something complex to bed because I'll wear like Youth Do or I'll wear like um, Lulu by Catcherelle. But like lately I've just been wanting something sweet and easy. And this is, I've just been before bed or like... If I had, this I'll also spray, like if I wore a fragrance maybe in the morning and I don't necessarily want to spray another fragrance, then I'll just spray this on to kind of just like vanillify, like free up, smell nice. Or this works well in between two scents. Like if I wore something in the morning, spray this on maybe when I get home, like for a little pick me up, maybe my scent's gone, but I don't know yet what I want to wear for the night. Like it's just, it's fun, you know? It's, there's nothing wrong with a little body mist. I don't know how long this is going to take me to use up though. Cause that's the thing I'm starting to maybe think, <laughs> uh, Bath and Body Works mists smarter to do the, the smaller travel size. Cause I feel like I've used this a lot to be fair. I haven't had it a long amount of time, but I feel like I've used this a lot and there's barely a little dent in it. So, but it's, it's good guys. Same thing as the lotion, pretty much the same scent. So yeah. Um, let's talk about well uh, how about this let's talk on the topic of vanilla and green packaging uh, another uh fragrance and body lotion duo this also came with a shower gel that i've also used or it's like a body milk but it's like a 
fading product. Um, this is a super green vanilla, has like rhubarb, vanilla, pear, bergamot. What else is in here that's kind of weird? There's some weird notes. There's a lot, there's some woody notes in this. Um, but there's also, to me, I get like a plasticiness to this, which sounds like unappealing, like a plasticky syntheticness to it, but I really love it. I think that also really comes out in the lotion. The lotion feels a little bit more synthetic than than the um, scent itself. And this to me feels very humid. This is a very humid scent. Like I love this fresh out of the shower. I haven't worn this in super high heat, but again, this feels very humid, like a, like a summer monsoon almost. Very green, very jungle-like. If you've seen the ad campaigns, they do a really good job of marketing this scent in my opinion. And this is one that feels quite witchy to me. When I wanna feel very powerful, embodied, maybe even sort of like protected, like aura, like my aura is protected. I think again, great name for the scent. Um, this is one I'll wear. I've worn this to do like, you guys know I'm spiritual. I've worn this um, for a ritual before, like for a self-love ritual, how perfect too. The bottle is a heart and it's a green heart, like heart chakra. Just, I love the scent, dude. This is a one ounce. The one ounce of the EDP I'm pretty happy with at the moment because <clears throat> while I really like this scent, I also want to get the EDT for summer. So I think if I have a one ounce of the EDP and then maybe like I get like a full size of the EDT, my aura um, cravings should be pretty satiated. Um, the EDT is a lot more fruity, a lot more sweet. The vanilla is amped up. Um, this is like a deeper vanilla. The vanilla there is like a lot more sweet, if that makes sense. A lot more fresh, lighter. Um, I think the EDT has like an apple note, a strawberry note, something like that. So it's just fruitier, lighter. Whereas this is like green, mentholated, like witchy, humid. Yeah. But I really like it. Love this stuff. Um, what else? What else, guys? Um, yeah, this is one I've been wearing kind of like um, to bed. And then I did wear, but I also realized I did wear this to the office the other day under... Um, I sprayed it like under my sweater and then I did like this. And um, this is Youth Dew by Estee Lauder, guys. It is um, a really interesting scent in that there's so many notes. I can name off some of the weird notes for you. There's like um, aldehydes, tofu balsam, which is like a resin, um, but there's a Coca-Cola note, obviously cinnamon, lots of spices, um, amber, like vanilla, like everything you think oh oak moss everything you think of when you think vintage is pretty much in here guys um and it does smell what most people would consider like a dated profile i was actually reading up on youth do and it's really interesting just like at this scent in particular as like a commentary on like age and labels and categories um <clears throat> because Obviously, it's called Youth Do. When this was when this first came out, this was marketed to younger women, guys. Like this was like a sexy, young, youthful scent, Youth Do. But obviously, as those ladies became, or as those girls became ladies and women, it started to take on the connotation in our modern world of being a mature scent. But it never really was that in the first place. It's just perspective and generational looking, you know, at things. So most people my age or even like my parents' age would consider this a mature set, even though when it came out, it was a very youthful scent. Um, it's quite powdery. It's like, so the th main descriptors, if I could give four descriptors, it would be powdery, cinnamon, cosmetic. Uh, let's do five, musky and amalic. Because it is, there is this sweet cinnamon, cosmetic powdery scent, especially as it dries down on you, but <clears throat> at the same time guys there's a deeply deeply sort of like animalic feel to this and i think that comes from the musk in here but also like the mix of the resins with the oak moss there's something very deeply deeply animalic about this too um even though it is like sweet and cinnamony and gourmand or not um sweet cinnamony and uh cosmetic it doesn't feel gourmand because there's a really deeply animalic um feel to this an earthy feel to this um it's definitely a potion of a scent and um <clears throat> it makes me curious to kind of uh, get my nose on cinnabar i don't necessarily want to buy cinnabar at the moment because 
they are not the same, but similar is what I've heard. Um, and it's really interesting. If you guys have time, I would check out the reviewer Luke Parfums. Love their channel. So good. Um, but they were kind of saying like, they, they were talking about the history and um, basically Youth Do was the first, you know, sort of like Estee Lauder, deep, rich, oriental scent, right? And then they marketed Cinnabar, what's now Cinnabar, as soft Youth Do. <clears throat> and um, it's interesting to hear people talk about Youth Do because Youth Do versus Cinnabar. It's interesting to hear people talk about Cinnabar because Cinnabar is kind of like a softer, fruitier, um, sort of more vanillic take on Youth Do is what I've heard. And so I kind of just imagine this with less of the animalic edge is kind of what I think, what I imagine Cinnabar would smell like. But obviously you'll never know until you try. <laughs> so we'll see. But for now, I'm really enjoying Youth Do. Um, it is a vintage scent, but I I don't know. I find it really comforting. So yeah, so I'll wear this to bed sometimes or just around the house. Um, but I've also worn it to work. So there's that. <clears throat> okay let's uh where should i go next oh you know what let us let's talk about my trip scents i brought four scents on my trip we'll talk about kind of the most like unremarkable one just because i brought three other full-size bottles of perfume and then i also had some other per oh i should have talked about the other perfume oils i have it's okay they are there's two perfume oils i bought from a company called moonlight and sage company they're actually a spiritual slash witchy store that sells perfume oils um and like anointing ritual oils so i bought them for those purposes not for their scents but both of them actually smell really good one of them is the love oil is like a kind of like pheromony like fruity scent and the other one's kind of like a i get like a lemon verbena scent to it but that's neither here nor there anyways the reason what i'm saying is i bought this at to have or i didn't buy this tab I brought this on the trip to have something sort of clean and musky because the other three scents that I brought, which I'll show you next, are all like sweeter or like more punchy. So I was like, okay, in case I get tired of sweet and punchy and after the shower, I just want something clean or I just want something to throw in my bag, I'll bring this. So that's exactly what I did. This is the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume oil, highly ozonic, musky, clean. <clears throat> it's not like an animalic musk. It's like a it's animalic in the sense that it's like human skinny, but like not like stinky. It's very clean. There's probably a touch of woodiness in here. Um, I actually got this because it for a time was my best friend's like signature scent. And so it reminds me of her. Um, and I really like it on myself as well. Um, so yeah, I brought this to have something kind of clean in case uh, I got tired of my other scents. And I also brought this to have something to just be able to throw in my bag because I didn't want in my purse when I was going out into town I didn't want to have to like haul around like a huge bottle of perfume now I still do that sometimes like sometimes I just say fuck it but I kind of just wanted something to throw in my bag in case I wanted to freshen up you know so um it served its purpose this is like in sky 11 11 this is the perfume oil and I I like it so yes now where should we go next Let's talk about this baby because chicken stuffed with mozzarella, I have a message with you, for you if you're watching. Um, they're one of my like people I talk to on here who like leaves me like really cool comments and we kind of go back and forth sometimes. Haven't had a chance to respond to your comment, but <clears throat> you had said you love pink sugar. And in the last video, like literally just the video before this, I trashed pink sugar, guys. I completely trashed pink sugar. This is just proof to tell you, ah, give things a little bit of a chance more than just like one wear. <laughs> um, of course, like I did end up sending back the other two that I told you guys in that video that I didn't like. Like Lalique Le Parfum, I sent back because it was kind of not even a dislike, just kind of unremarkable, unremarkable. And then Tocad by Roche just was a dislike. So I sent both of those back, but I ended up keeping this baby and look how much I've used, guys. So let's talk about it. I think there's a couple factors at play here. When I first smelled it, I think two things happened. I think the first sort of, you know, have you heard the thing like the first initial sprays of a juice sometimes isn't like the actual scent. Like it's kind of like 
I don't know. Like, there's, like, this theory that, like, some juice gets trapped in there and then kind of gets, like, weird and I don't know. So that could be it because I, when I first smelled this, I was off put because of the, the burnt sugarness of it felt very like plasticky. Like it felt almost like burning plastic, not burnt sugar. <clears throat> After the first sort of test sprays, I let it sit and then I packed up, I was packing up the other, um, tocad and, and Le Parfum to send back, right? And something in me told me to reach for this. And it's funny because I had also seen chicken stuff with mozzarella's comment that they love this. But like, I really was just craving something sweet, like, like just wanting something sweet and like uncomplicated. Um, and something told me to reach for this and I did. And guys, I like love this now. <laughs> this is like a, I'll probably have a bottle of this in my collection for like a long time now. Um, I love it in the same way that I love like, um, like an angel, you know, like it, it's just, it's gourmand, but there's something unique to it. So like, yes, it is pink sugar. It is just burnt sugar, but I also do get the licorice note in this guys. And you know, I love me some licorice. Um, so this is one that's been a complete turnaround for me guys. Um, public service announcement. I like pink sugar now. I do. And really what, what I love about this one is um, the effect on skin, too, more than anything. Over time, the burnt sugarness just evolves to like a general sort of baked good sweetness. And really the association I have with it, it almost reminds me of like a fair, like, like um, almost after about an hour or so, uh, my general scent bubble when I catch it is like, like a cinnamony baked good, almost like a funnel cake really is the association I get and a general sweetness of pink sugar. Yeah, I mean, no shit. But yeah, the burntness kind of evolves, which I now I do like the burntness, guys, in the opening, and uh, but it just kind of evolves to like this general sweetness, and I think this is lovely. I love this. This is like my, my little bimbo scent now, guys. Love this, love this, love this, love this. Took me a while, but I get it. Okay. <clears throat> Next was this one because I wanted something like kind of like if I was going to go out to eat dinner somewhere like fancy because I did end up eating out a lot. Um, I should probably say, so yeah, th these are the four that I brought just for clarification on my trip. And where did I go? I went to Seattle. Never been to Seattle, um, but I knew I was going to be kind of going around the city a lot because I wanted to explore. So the motivations behind my choices where this is a generally like sweet, easy reach for like bed or honestly just to ch 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 spray on. And that's what I did like the first day when I was traveling. Oh my God, my travel story is a whole other story guys. But I figured I would like bring pink sugar in case I just wanted something ch 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 generally sweet to spray on, you know? Um, that's why I brought this one. And then this one I brought because I wanted something like, like if I wanted to go to dinner somewhere nice and fancy. I wanted to feel bougie. This is a YSL's Leave Incense. Um, it's like a honeyed sort of, like there's no honey in this, but like the amber in this to me feels very honeyed. And it, it's like a, it's like fougere for women, basically. Because there's a lot of punchy lavender in this. Um, but on a base of like amber and vanilla and orange blossom, it, the, is the other floral paired with this. So it feels fougere when you first spray it, it feels kind of strong, but then it becomes very, very comforting. And I should also say it sits on a busk of this, or a busk, a base of this sort of animalic musk, a busk, <laughs> a base of sort of animalic musk, but it's not like super stinky. Like there's an edge of stinkiness, but it's more like a, mm, like a sexy appealing sort of ambery muskiness. I can't describe it. Um, it's definitely like, <clears throat> you can still smell the original leaves somewhat on this chicken stuff and mozzarella. If you're watching this, another thing, yeah, I saw your comment about that. You do like the original leaf. I don't hate it. I don't hate the original leaf. I just don't like it on me. It smells good on other people. My mom, for example, wears the original leaf and I think it smells nice on her. It just doesn't really, it doesn't really work on me, but the intense, it's more warm. It's more amped up. It's more punchy. It's a perfect wintertime scent. And like, this is like a very, like when I want to feel put together scent, 
I don't know if it's the scent itself or if it's the fact that it's a YSL bottle and it looks very classy, but it does kind of make me feel very grown. So love this one. Okay, last one I brought, um, this little part of the bottle broke off and during travel, but it's still functional. I'm gonna be honest, Alien, why did I bring this one? Because I wanted a sexy scent. You never know who you're gonna meet in the city. Will you meet anyone? You never know. And I just wanted to have something to wear if I wanted to feel really sexy and appealing. Because this scent, guys, this scent makes me feel very sexy and appealing in myself. Like, it's not even an other people thing. Now, let's talk about other people because other people do like this scent, like all genders. Because, for example, um, let me tell you about women and let me tell you about men. I've gotten compliments. Dodger, leave Oliver alone. Come here. Dodger's bothering the cats. Come here. Where should you be? Exactly. Mwah. So boys love this, right? Because it is a kind of sexy, really punchy jasmine scent. And jasmine's an aphrodisiac, guys. Now, not every man likes jasmine. I have plenty of men that I know that don't like jasmine. But it's... It's pretty crowd pleasing um, for I would say like I would say like seventy percent of men love jasmine, but there's there's outliers that don't. And um, this is just a very unique jasmine. It's like it sits on this ambery woody base. This is the new formula. I should say that I've never tried the old formula, but the new formula is working just fine for me. Lasting power is not great, so I do tend to overspray. Um, but yeah, men do find this quite sexy. Um, it is like a lean in sort of scent or like what are you wearing sort of scent um from my experience so far yes <laughs> I have experienced that but um <clears throat> women tend to be okay with this one too and tend to like it too um in fact so one story that comes to mind with this one is a while back around Christmas time I was traveling to visit my aunt uncle grandparents um and we, my sister was visiting in town too and then um Obviously, I was going with my parents, and so we were all, the whole family was together, basically. And we went on a little trip, and I had brought this um, because, A, I had just gotten it, so it's, like, fresh and fun, and it's, like, you know, your new toy. Like, of course you want to bring your new toy on vacation. Um, <clears throat> so I brought this to be, like, my perfume for the weekend, but my mom and my sister did not pack a perfume, and so both of them had asked me to use this just to have something to smell good on. And... Um, which tells me that it was inoffensive to them in some sort of capacity. Like if they're willing to spray it on themselves, it must be a little bit inoffensive or at least smell good in some capacity. And the other thing is, as I feel like this one kind of plays differently on everyone's skin. Um, yes, it is like a punchy jasmine, a very, punchy is a, a theme word today for me, I guess, a buzzword, but um, it is a super unique, punchy, synthetic jasmine, sexy jasmine, but it does kind of go a little bit different on everyone. Like on me, I feel like, I don't know like I, it's it's warm it's a warm jasmine it's ambery it's woody on my mom though I feel like it goes a little bit soapier on her it's like a soapier jasmine it's still fresh or I mean it's still like sexy um and still smells like alien but it, it, there's just it's almost it's it's a little bit um soapier fresher I can't describe it like the floral aspect comes out more than the 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 floral and me on me this on me the floral tends to go a little warmer, if that makes sense. And it's a little soapier on her. And then my sister sat somewhere right in, in the middle of us. Um, but it smelled great on all of us is the point. So again, women love this. Men love this. And also, I feel like even though it has the connotation of being a sexy perfume, because it is jasmine and it is really punchy, and again, it is sexy, it's still wearable, like, in any case. Like, again, I wore this to breakfast with my grandparents it was fine you know <laughs> like it's even though it's sexy I don't know I feel like I could wear this at any time and maybe that's because this feels very signature scent to me and the very first time I smelled this I liked it pretty much um but yeah I love this stuff guys this alien by Terry Mugler and I think that is it. So um, this is mostly what I've been wearing. Another shout out, like I said, is to those other two perfume oils. I've been kind of layering with some of my perfumes from Moonlight and Sage Shop. It's the Aphrodite Touch Oil and the Love Oil. Um, and then 
maybe another shout out would probably be the only other one I can think of is Dior Hypnotic Poison. I wore that to work once last week um, and I love that one, but it was just, I haven't been wearing that frequently, consistently. It was just, I reached for it and I remembered how much I love that scent. So that's a, another little shout out, I guess. Um, but this is mainly what I've been wearing. And yeah, I'm wearing um, Idol Intense today by Lancome as a switch up. It's still very cold here, but I just kind of wanted something different from what I've been wearing. And this one is just a generally Lancome Idol Intense is like such a happy scent to me. So that's what I'm wearing today. And I'm wondering and curious how my perfume vibe is going to shift next or if I'll keep wearing all of these right now. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys in another video soon. Okay. Bye.